Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can disavow links using the Google Search Console and using SEMrush. So I currently have a free account with SEMrush. Um, so all you have to do is you, you basically have to, to come into SEMrush, create a new account if you don't have one. Um, you can create a free one and then you can run a backlink audit. You can come over here and you can click to uh, backlink audit and then you can run a an audit. I've done so already and then you can, you can come in here. So just some background so currently um, I have a high number of toxic backlinks and what I I noticed was um, was that Google was penalizing me uh, in search uh, for a website that I manage. Um, it went from page three to page seven or eight because of this, and this was because, to be honest, I used somebody on Fiverr to be able to create some backlinks for me. Um, but this proved to be to my detriment and the guy created like a whole lot of spammy backlinks so that's definitely not good I did use another guy before that and his backlinks were, were good and that those are these uh, a couple of these uh, 66 that you see over here that's non-toxic um, so what I want to do is I want to disavow these backlinks this is 834 and I also want to disavow these potential to, uh, toxic backlinks um, just to get just to clean up the, the profile a bit so let's get started so all you have to do is you come into here what you what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a disavow list that's a txt file and we're going to go to Google search console and we're going to upload that list so that's basically what we're gonna do so I'm just going to start quickly. I have done a couple of these already just to make the video a bit faster. So I'll come over to audit and I've already moved about almost a thousand links to my disavow link, um, list. I'm just going to do the rest. So what I did was you come over to toxic, toxicity score and um, I initially first did the 60 to 100 toxic because those are the most toxic. There's nothing there now. Uh, and and then I'm also going to do the potentially toxic list. Um, so that they'll come up over here. All you have to do is you can select all and you can click on disavow. And you can just say move to disavow list. So because I have a free profile I need to do this like a couple of times until you see this number over here decreasing and until everything's moved to your disavow list. So you can do that for your potentially toxic, you can do that for non-toxic, you can do that for toxic. There are many other filters that you can use also to move to whichever list you want to move it to. So I'm just going to move all the potentially toxic as well to the disavow list and that's it so I've moved everything now and if I go to my disavow list over here at the top I can now see all the um, domains that I want to upload to my disavow tool with Google so everything's over here it can, you can see over here it says domains 1027 and what I'm going to do now is I am going to export to TXT. So just to note that if you if you're using this tool and this is the second time that you're going to do it, um, the ease it only uses one file. So your second time you're going to need to come over here and you're going to need to download the list that you currently have uploaded and you're going to have to come back into SEMrush and import that list and then from there export a new list that includes your old list 
just so that you you are aware of that. So I'm going to go ahead and export to TXT and I've exported that now. So now I'm going to head over to Google Search Console. You can just go to Google and type in disavow links and then the, the website will come up. If you don't have a Google Search Console account, you just need to create one for your um, domain. But just be in mind that when you do create it, you actually need to create it with the full um, domain name and not with just a, a subset of that to be able to use this tool. I did make that mistake at the beginning. So all you have to do is you just go and you create um, your property with the full um, domain name and then you, you can use this tool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on upload disavow list and I'm going to click on that text file and it's going to be uploaded and it says your disavow list has been submitted and that's it that's all you need to do and once that's been done it will come up here with your it will show um, how many links you currently have disavowed to your website. Um, thanks for watching. If you guys found that helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Cheers.